Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. The Kailami Grand Prix Circuit's novel approach to tie wall barrier assembly is owed largely to steel strapping products from stainless steel manufacturer and banded product distributor Banding and Identification Solutions Africa. Nadine James tells us more. Kailami's general maintenance manager Malia Swart explains that the track, built in 1961, was recently bought by Porsche South Africa CEO Toby Fenter and is currently subject to a multi-million rand upgrade and expansion project. The Kailami team researched various tyre wall assembly methods in an effort to improve driver safety and attain a grade 2 licence from the Motorsport Governing Body International Federation of Automobiles, or the FIA. The grade 2 licence will allow Kailami to host any form of international track racing, with the exception of Formula One. Swart says that, in terms of safety, cost and availability, the banding and identification solutions Africa offered the most viable tyre wall solution. Initially there was a plus minus 138,000 tyres, old tyres on the circuit, which was also so deteriorated and rusted that we had to replace those as well. Uh, we then decided through uh, electronic telemetry where the new or dangerous areas are, that needs uh, tyre replacement. We then sourced the tyres uh, from uh, Continental in uh, Port Elizabeth. Uh, we then had to look for someone that can uh, supply us uh, strapping to secure the tyres. The previous way we did it was with bolts and nuts, cables, steel cables, uh, and that didn't work because it rusted. So eventually we got a hold of bandits and um, they demonstrated to some of the different products that they have and through that we decided on this stainless steel belting that we are using now. Uh, it makes it much more easier to do, to maintain and put together uh, so, and it's quite strong, it's, it's very strong. The stainless steel bands, which were 16 millimeters wide and 0.5 millimeters thick, were strapped around the tyres at 90 degree angles in order to facilitate the tyres' compression while ensuring that the tyres were tightly secured. Banding sales representative Berti Ferreira says that this was one of the biggest strapping installations the company has ever worked on, noting that thousands of stainless steel products were used for the project. The uh, strapping that was used is a local manufactured, uh, in-house produced uh, strapping. It's a grade 304 uh, stainless steel. Um, we supplied them with about two and a half thousand rolls of strapping. Our roll is, uh, consists of a 30 meter coil um, that's boxed um, and then also the, uh, it comes uh, with buckles. Now the buckles is used to fasten the, uh, the actual band. Now on the buckles there was 32,000 buckles that was uh, dispatched to the site. The installation team, which comprised of 16 Kailami staff members, made use of 14 banded Bantam strapping tools easy to use, lightweight tensioning devices designed specifically for this application. Bandit was formed in 1937 so they brought out a little uh, a strapping tool but the tool is a really big and bulky tool and um, so uh, back in early 2000 uh, we brought out a, a newer version of a tool it's a one hand uh, ratchet uh, tool um, which works much more uh, efficiently and to use that in conjunction with, uh, with using the stainless steel strapping on the bands to secure the tires together um, it saves a lot of, um, of time and energy uh, with the previous applications that they were using, the steel rods and things, there was a lot of labor involved. Um, so with, with the new you know, spec that, you know, that they, the track is using, you're actually halving the time of any installation. Kailami intends to keep a few banded tools on hand for quick repairs once the track is fully operational. So the other expects the track will continue its relationship with banding and banded because of their product's superior quality and longevity. What sets uh, uh, our product aside from any other product out there is um, uh, there's no sharp edges on the sides of the, of the strapping. We have found that uh, products brought in from Asia or even local produced uh, products from other companies, uh, the edges are very sharp. So about 60% of our product is being utilized in the automotive industry um, on CV boots. Uh, if you use their product on CV boots, you've got a, a lifespan of about three months. Um, uh, where if you use ours, it'll last forever. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.